What is going on guys? My name is Mad Alive. Welcome to another weekly fish video for you guys today. And right now this is something that uh, really good happened to me. Um, is that I got this 10 gallon fish tank for free. And it's uh, used of course because um, that's the only reason why I got it for free. Um, I did try cleaning, cleaning, clean this tank as much as possible. But uh, this dirt and dust won't scrub off no matter how hard I scrub it. And plus there's a couple cracks on a fish tank on top from the back. So I didn't want to make that risk of uh, breaking this really good uh, fish tank. But since uh, dirt and dust does not uh, kill your fish or harm your fish in any way. Um, so I just l d did not bother scrubbing the top off and stuff so uh, it's a little neat uh, fish tank um, the um, the filter I got is the whisper tetra filter it is really cool I got it for $20 and it is really really quiet um, let me lift this light up if I can okay see it's right there pretty cool um better make sure Sometimes this lid is jinky, just give me a second. This lid is a bit jinky. Ooh. Because, uh, this is a used fish tank, so, uh, oh man. I'll be right back. <laughs> okay, I am back. Sorry. The, the lid did not want to, uh, want to stay on, which is a funny thing. So I'm going to turn on the light here. So you guys can see better. Um, the fish I got right here. These are the fish. These are neon tetras. And I got five of them. Because um, five is enough for a five gallon tank. So not a not five gallon tank. A ten gallon tank. So I got the uh, tetras. But this whisper filter is a ten gallon filter. It works fine. It works amazing. I love it. It's not that noisy. There are another two neon tetras. There's three of them right there. Some of them like going under the filter. And most of the time they'll swim around a tank around this um, driftwood and this live plant right here. And this is a fake plant. The reason I have this fake plant is because um, this is for the shrimp I got. Um, I think they're called the Red Rally Shrimp. If I can uh, find them. They like to hide. Um, but if I can't find them, I'll put a picture up of what they look like. Because I took a picture of them a while ago. But, uh, oh, there's one right there. If I can zoom in. He's right there. there there's a shrimp. He's right there. He's moving around. Maybe if I zoom out and then focus. It's like, he's like right there. Um... There's one of them, uh, two of them like to hide pretty well. They like to hide through this uh, moss plant I got a while ago from my blue, vel blue velvet shrimp. Uh, one of them likes hiding under there. If he, one is under there, nope. Um, one does like hiding under there and sometimes they like to hide in this live plant I got for them for five bucks. And this driftwood was like 12 Canadian dollars. So it was like a bit of expensive. But I need to get it for the pH level for the uh, tank because uh, these shrimp, um, they need to live in a low pH level. So this driftwood is really good. And the longer the driftwood in there, the, the more the water will change color into the orangey effect. And that orange effect will tell you that the pH level is right for the shrimp. So that's why I got the driftwood. So the shrimp won't have any problems. And this Neon Tetra can live in harsh um, pH levels. That's why I got them with my shrimp. And they're harmless and they're pretty. For $2 each, I was like, why not buy five? Okay. Um, but I have some bad news for the Blue Velvet Shrimp. They died. Um, I don't know why the last one died. It just died one morning. I woke up. I thought it was alive, I thought it was sleeping, and then I realized his body was orange, because uh, if you can't tell if a shrimp dies, their body, their heads or body turns turns orange, and then a few hours later, their body will turn white. So, 
it died and I was very depressed about that um, especially when I spent a lot of money on the shrimp but this one down down there still kicking alive um I'm not buying any more shrimp until these ones are okay so I'll buy more blue velvet shrimp but uh, these red ravi shrimp are really cool they're like cherry shrimp but they're different they're see-through they have a uh, see-through and a bit red spots around them they look amazing they look beautiful and I really liked them now my beta fish is fine now I do not have a paper over here because um, my beta fish doesn't show any aggressiveness any aggressiveness towards these neon tetras he will look at them for like a few seconds and then he'll move back to his tank so that's a good sign that I could put my beta into this 10 gallon tank if I can but I have to test it out and and watch him for an hour in the tank and if it does not work I'm gonna put him back to his tank and I'll give you an update on that um, but uh, but sadly that uh, those uh, blue velvet shrimp they were beautiful they did not uh, survive um, these neons like staying there for some reason um, I did get a one defected neon because his tail is a little bit curvy which uh, it means that uh, they were not born that well oh man I wish I did not have this light shitty light okay there's one shrimp right here if you can see it he's like right there he's a uh, going around like this oh there's one hey buddy he's uh sometimes my uh camera doesn't want to focus on these guys but there it is here's a uh, here's the clear sphinx the third one really likes to hide i don't know where he is i check under driftwood <sighs> can't find him no matter how hard i look so um yeah um there's three of them last time i saw the third one he was in here like a few hours ago so uh yeah i hope you like this video guys so please come and subscribe have a good one